Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of The Graniac. Today we're making some beef jerky out of hamburger. Bought this hamburger 10 pound chub for $2.77 a pound. So that means really cheap jerky. Probably better than what you're buying in the store. You know what goes into it. You're starting with just fresh ground beef. This is a 80-20 mix. So you're going to lose about 30% in your cook. So if you make six pounds, end up with about five. So I'm figuring on about five teaspoons of salt, half of that in sugar. Then go with some cure, eighth teaspoon per pound. And then it's basically whatever else you want. Use some garlic, some black pepper, some onion powder, honey sriracha. It's the main ingredient in this mix. I use quite a bit. Turned out really well. It's as much as you think you need in there. It's a fun thing about making jerky at home. You're making small batches, so make them how you see fit. Quite a bit of soy sauce. And I'm going to be putting in some water to mix up all the ingredients. And all you need for this is an oven, a dehydrator, a smoker. If you're using an uh, oven in the grates, I suggest uh, using a smaller grate because it is hamburger and you don't want it to fall through. So even if you put it on a sheet pan and you flip it halfway through, you'll be fine. Um, be nice if you poured out the grease as it uh, accumulates because you'll be getting quite a bit of drippage from an 80-20 mix. Mix it up really good. You want that cure to penetrate everything. So then not only are you smoking it to preserve, the cure also helps. Um, if you're going to leave it in a baggie, uh, leave the baggie open. Let the moisture out. If you trap the moisture in, you're just going to be asking for things to grow. So I found it best to let it dry out versus growing anything kind of funky. I let it sit for at least three hours. The burger, you can almost... Put in the dehydrator right away because as you're mixing it the cure is getting into everything unlike a uh, regular beef jerky steaks you need it to soak in a marinade for a while but i find with the hamburger even if i put it in the uh, dehydrator right away get a good product so you roll it out as much as you can and then you use your hands to press it into the corners we're going to be cutting our jerky strips. I found this method to be faster than the jerky guns because you have to keep reloading them and squeeze them out and cut them anyway or just do them into little strips but I found this to be quicker for me but again do what works for you. So my best technique is I cut all the way down with the knife and then I pull it back through to get it all the way through the meat otherwise when you're pulling it out to put in your dehydrator it's all gonna get stuck to each other so you can see the technique here down all the way to the bottom and then pull back forward again same thing with the vertical cut and then it's ready to be put in the dehydrator and as you pull them out this should come fairly easy away from the other strips Make sure as best you can that the meat isn't touching. And this is actually the last time you'll see this dehydrator because on this cook it actually cracked on the bottom and broke. So I'll be in the market for a new dehydrator. If anybody has any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. <laughs> and if you haven't, like and subscribe. Truly appreciate all the subscribers. You're what keep me going. I enjoy doing this, but I also like sharing Let's see, putting it all on, again, making sure nothing really touches. These are thicker strips, so I just got to make sure to leave it in the dehydrator for longer. I think I went about 10 hours on these. 
and I rotate trays top to bottom and flip the jerky halfway through. And then you'll know the meat is done when it starts sweating a lot. And then when you go to snap the pieces, they shouldn't be uh, very soft in the middle. Because again, you're trying to dehydrate it. So it's a nice clean break. Looks good on the middle. And if you want any other recipes or ways to cook jerky, let me know. If you have questions, you can do this with chicken, pork, anything else. And again, like, subscribe, and share.